Uh, my name is Saravana Kumar and I'm the founder CEO of uh, Green Current Solar Energy Systems and uh, we are based in Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. Now after graduating BE in Electronics and Communication from uh, Coimbatore Institute of Technology and uh, MBA from ICFI Business School, I have worked in various industry domains like iron and steel, telecom, software, pumping industry uh, before joining my family business of uh, this electrical pump manufacturing. Now Green Current Solar Energy Systems was started in the year 2012 with the aim of offering sustainable solar energy solutions to the Indian market. Now our primary business lies in manufacturing of uh, the solar machines like your charge controller, UTP connector, solar inverters, solar power conditioning units, solar fence energizers and we have recently started manufacturing the solar pump converters as well. And our secondary business is also into turnkey solar energy solutions wherein we do everything from A to Z including the erection and the installation work. Now uh, we have successfully completed many turnkey projects and uh, we are currently supplying most of the equipment that are used in solar installations almost all across India. Now I'll uh, briefly take you to a presentation wherein uh, first like I'll be giving you a brief on uh, the solar power solutions to start with. Now solar power solutions, what we offer can be classified basically into four categories wherein uh, the solar can be used as primary, that is solar energy can be used as primary source for supplying your loads and your mains, that is your grid as your backup. And also solar solutions with uh, mains as the backup, sorry the primary and solar or your battery as your backup. And uh, we also have solutions that can be used as a retrofit model to convert your existing UPS and battery to run either solar as primary or as backup. Now the second part of our uh, project offering is solar water pumping solution which basically can be used as a retrofit model for your existing or new three-phase submersible monoblock or open well pumps and also as a retrofit model for your new or existing single-phase submersible monoblock or open well pumps. Now these water pumping systems are basically consist of uh, your solar panel which is connected to the pump converter which can be directly used to run the pump on solar without any requirement of complicated electronics like batteries or inverter. Now, apart from that we also offer a solar fencing solution which basically can be offered for three kinds of protection uh, namely for uh, intruder protection and uh, for uh, protection against livestock and also for protection against wild animals with or without the alarm units. Now this can be done on ground level as well as over the wall. Now uh, the final and the last most important part of our solutions is the solar street light solution which we offer basically with CFL or LED lighting along with the optional dimmer and a down to dusk function. Now these street lights can be programmed to operate automatically without human interference where the solar street light gets switched on probably say at 6 o'clock in the evening when the sunlight falls and it is made to work till the sun rises. Now these street lights can be offered as a centralized power plant model or this can be offered as a decentralized model where each and every street light will carry an individual panel and also an individual battery uncontrolled circuit. Now we are talking about the government benefits which are available for the solar projects. Now uh, under the Jawaharlal Nehru National Solar Mission Scheme, the government of India through Ministry for National and Renewable Energy that is MNRE offers the following benefits, financial benefits that is 30% subsidy for uh, residential rooftop solar power plants with battery backup and uh, for the capacities up to 1 kilowatt you can get 30% subsidy on the capital investment. 
Now this is the same with uh, commercial rooftop solar power plants as well, but the difference being the maximum capacity can be up to 100 kilowatt. Now the water pumping solutions used in agriculture purpose also are eligible for subsidies provided that the pump capacity is maximum 5 HP. Now apart from this, solar also helps you financially by availing 80% accelerated depreciation in the first year itself. Now these are the benefits that is available, the financial benefits that is available through the government of India and uh, regarding any queries or any clarifications you can always reach us. Now uh, we are located in Coimbatore that is in Tamil Nadu and almost all these details whatever you are presenting you today is available on our website that is www.greencurrent.in. We are always available 24 by 7 by telephone as well as email and also we have a light chat support on our website which you can make use of. Now this is as far as our energy solution is concerned whatever we offer. Now let us have a brief question and answer session wherein all the members can post your inquiries to me and I will try to clarify the best what I could. Thank you. Uh, thank you Mr. Sarana. Uh, audience you can start your question. Justin Mayur Kasham. What is the cost associated with this? Prashant is asking. Yes, uh, Mr. Prashant, the cost of the solution will vary and it totally depends upon the specific user requirement. Now as I told, we offer our solutions by three categories, that is your solar power, solar water pumping, solar fins and also solar street lights. Now depending upon what exactly is your specific requirement, we can offer you our cost associated with that. I would request you to please send us an email with your specific requirement and we will help you with the best possible quotation. Okay. Okay, um, so Dustin is asking, I have a 900 watts uh, panel array, what size AC pump can I can use and uh, what will I need? Alright, now uh, you say that you have 900 watts of solar panel array. Now we need to understand what is your individual voltage of the panel, individual voltage of the panel and the maximum current that the panel can give us an output under peak irradiation. Now depending on that we can see what is the total capacity of the pump that can be connected. Now apart from your panel you would also require a pump converter which will connect your panel to the AC pump. Okay, Justin says I was using a 20 watt uh, DC pump and uh, Prashant has a okay. question. Yeah, please go ahead. Yes, now uh, coming to the question posted by Prashant. Now the business model what you are talking about is purely if it is for uh, revenue generation, the revenue generation can be obtained by cutting down your cost as well. Now using solar definitely you will be having savings on your electricity usage. Now that will cut down your cost which will ultimately be a revenue generation for you. And uh, talking about uh, Mr. Justin Taro's uh, question, uh, I was an assumption that you have 900 watts of panel which you wanted to connect with the AC pump. But now you are saying that you have a DC pump. Now we need to understand what is the input voltage and the input current that is required for the DC pump. Now depending on that we have to configure your solar panels and we also make sure that we have a maximum power point tracker 
which can be connected to the pump and the panels for the efficient functioning of the pump. Justin, uh, your doubt is clear? Mr. Prashant, please continue with your question. Okay, he is asking is there any return on yes. investment? Mr. Prashant, Mr. Prashant, talking about your return on investment, we need to understand what is your expense pattern right now. You calculate the return on invest, the investment based on what are you spending right now and what is the benefit that you are going to get by putting a solar energy solution. There is no fixed formula for calculating the return on investment. But then again, the return on investment can be calculated by comparing the investment that you are putting on solar energy solution and the cost that you would inquire by not putting a solar energy solution. Now talking about uh, Mr. Justin Toro's uh, question, you are asking for a safe size of AC pump that I can use. See, there is nothing like a safe size of AC pump. The pump sizing will depend exactly on your water needs, that is your water requirement. Now depending upon your water requirement, you need to size your pump and proportionately you need to buy solar panels and the necess necessary machines. That is if you are using an AC pump, you need to definitely have a pump converter. Okay. I hope uh, Mr. Justin Taro I have answered your question. Okay, Prashant has question, till how long uh, we need to replace solar panels? Panels. Okay, the solar panels normally they uh, yes, uh, Mr. J Justin Toro may know what, what exactly are you not able to get and do you want me to explain again? And pressure, yeah. the solar panels comes with a warranty of 25 years wherein the manufacturer guarantees 80% of the power output at the end of 25 years. Now this is as per the industry norms and as per the MNRE guidelines. Okay. And talking about the maintenance cost, it is almost zero because solar doesn't have any movable components. Okay. Now one thing I one thing I wanted to emphasize over here is the success of a solar project will purely depend on the design because the design is what is going to be implemented as a final solution. And pressure the solar panels are designed to perform even under temperature categories of 25 degrees centigrade. Now it is monsoon or rainy seasons, it doesn't matter as long as you have ambient light. Okay. Uh, Mr. Harish has just arrived. He has questions uh, how about wear and tear because of uh, harsh environment when they have no movable components. See, when you have no movable components, it is going to be a sad standstill solution. Now, wear and tear, if you are talking about external wear and tear, that is obviously if you are talking about extreme windy conditions, we need to design the mounting structures to withstand the wear and tear. Now Mr. Hari, you need to tell me what exactly are you meaning by wear and tear and each and every issue can be addressed during the design stage itself. Okay. Justin, if you have a mic, uh, I can unmute you. You can uh, directly uh, have interaction with Mr. Sarana. Mr. Hari is saying threat from rains uh, majorly. All right. See now, now at the rain, even during the rainy season, 
definitely there will be a performance, a reduced performance from the panels. But normally as a system designer what we do is we design the solution that works during the winter or the rainy condition. When we design the system to work on the winter or the rainy condition, it will definitely function during the sunny days. Okay. And Justin, I understand that some years ago you have bought a half HP DC pump. Now you would have bought half HP DC pump based on your specific water requirements. You can probably buy the same size AC pump as well. But as long as if it is going to be a single phase solution, it is extremely difficult and it's extremely costly to convert that to run on solar. Now we would probably we would probably recommend you to buy a single phase, sorry, a three phase pump and you can convert this three phase pump to run on solar. Okay, I understand Prashant uh, that you have asked for CF lighting in village to 100 houses. Now I need to understand what is the wattage of your CFLs that you would be using in your village houses. How many numbers of the CFLs in total? Now depending upon that we can design the system. Say for example, let's assume that each and every house will have two CFLs. Good. All right. Thank you Prashant for that information. Now you are talking about uh, 15 watt CFLs, two numbers per house. That is 30 watt per house. Now 30 watt per house is basically the connected load. And uh, how long do you want to run this on solar? Mr. Prashant, I might probably say between 12. Yeah, please, good. Yes, yes, please, Mr. Ajani. Mr. Prashant, if you have a mic, uh, you can directly talk. The conversation will be clear then. Mr. Justin, you too, if you have a mic, you can also directly interact. Okay, one second, I'm just unmuting you. Yeah, Mr. Prashant, I have unmuted. Yeah, thanks, Rajni. Yeah, so uh, basically I think it's, uh, it would only be for uh, night, I think, because day would not be uh, required mostly in the night if I want to provide it. I understand. See, you know, basically what we can do is we can offer you a system which will work, which will make the CFLs, the two CFLs work for 12 hours of night operation. Okay. Okay. Now what to run two CFLs in each house for 100 hours, for 100 houses, you would require a 8 kilowatt power plant. That is 8000 mm -hmm. watts of solar panels and you would require a 5 kVA solar inverter. Now this is more than sufficient. Now since you told it's a night operation, we need to have a battery bank which will store the power generated by the solar panels in the daytime and this power will be stored in the batteries and it will be supplied okay, right. during the night time. Okay, right. And let me just give you a brief cost indication and a specific and accurate quote can be forwarded to your mail address. I have your mail as uh, Prashant S. Varup at hotmail.com. Is, is it correct? Right. Yes, that is correct. We will send you the information, the quotation and all the details. But let me just give you a brief idea about the costing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello. Yes, Prashant. Uh, just working out your costing. Just give me a couple of seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, sure. Now this will be built as a residential project or will it be built as a commercial project? No, commercial I want, I'm thinking. This will be built as commercial, fine, I got it, okay. Uh, rest of the audience, uh, you can type me a question. 
मैं सहारिश में तमाम यो देखती हूँ। All right, Mr. Prashant, uh, after the subsidies and uh, after uh, including all the bill of materials, it should be costing you approximately fourteen lakhs, one four. Sorry, how much? One four, fourteen lakhs. Fourteen lakhs. Yes. Okay. okay. So now, is there any other thing that you can tell me, like supposing currently, if a villager is actually uh, giving spending twenty uh, rupees on his electricity, and I give him uh, seven rupees, uh, so uh, is there no, any? No, I understand, Prashant. I understand. I understand where you are uh, uh, coming at, but you uh, need to you need to understand couple of things uh, before before I answer your question. Okay, the first and the foremost thing is. We cannot compare this cost what a villager is incurring, because we cannot guarantee that this is going to be the electricity tariff for the next 25 years. Point number one. Okay. Second thing is mm -hmm. now the power crisis. We cannot say if it is going to be that is if we are going to get 24 hours power supply regularly for the next 25 years. But mm -hmm. one thing we can confidently say. Is that this 14 lakhs which we spend is for the next 25 years? Mm -hmm. yeah. No matter whether the power tariff escalates or not, and no matter if the power crisis is going to worsen or not, the villagers will have definitely the power supply for 12 hours during the night. Mm -hmm. But the batteries have to be replaced after three years, right? I think battery life is only limited. Yes. See, now now talking about the technicality of the batteries. Now there are two kinds of batteries which are available. One is basically C20 rated batteries, which are which are nothing but your UPS batteries, and uh, the other kind of set of batteries are specifically designed for solar application, which are nothing but C10 solar batteries. Now you need to understand one thing very clearly, Mr. Prashant. The life of the battery will depend upon what is the amount of current that is going inside the battery and what is the amount of current that is coming out of the battery. Now, when the system is designed perfectly, the battery life can be expected at least to a minimum of 10 to 15 years. And okay. these certain batteries are normally replacement warranted for five years. Which is not totally like your conventional C20 batteries. So minimum five years, they will definitely run. Five years is the replacement warranty which a manufacturer gives for the batteries. Okay. I'll give you an example, Mr. Prashant. Let's assume that you buy a television. Normally, hmm. these televisions are warranted for one year or two year, but that hmm. doesn't mean that doesn't be supposed that it will be running only for one or two years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, All right. 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 But you... the television will run correctly as long as you give 240 volt input supply. Mm -hmm. But if you are giving 415 volt AC three phase supply, the television will of course it will be spoiled. That is the same mm -hmm. case. Now you told me the load. That is two lights that are going that are going to be used in each house during the night. As mm -hmm. long as this load is maintained. There won't be absolutely no maintenance or no recurring cost, but if you increase the load, say from two lights, if you increase to four lights, say hose, definitely that will create a wear and tear on your batteries, and it will definitely lead to battery replacement. So the bottom line is, as long as we stick to the design parameters, there won't be absolutely no recurring cost that one might have to spend on solar energy solutions. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mr. Harish, you can continue with your question. And uh, yeah, Mr. Sarana, please continue. You are saying something to the yes, uh, Mr. Justin Tora, you have asked for uh, a corresponding replacement of AC pump for your DC pump. Now what I would request you is you can connect, you can replace that with a 1 HP 3 phase pump and you can use your 900 watts panel and you can buy a converter, pump converter and you can run your AC pump. Mr. 
Mr. Prashant, you have questions? Can you go? No, no. No, I don't have any questions. Okay. Justin has question, does this M connector yes. take yes, care of Mr. the... Yes, Mr. Justin Taro. Yes. See, now this pump converter, <laughs> what we basically we offer, it consists of a variable frequency drive. And the ultimate purpose of the variable frequency drive is to stabilize the starting current, yeah. point number one. And when you have a converter, we normally we remove the DOL starter that is present. So our pump converter will take care of the pump starting. That is the pump will start gradually and it will stabilize to the RPM that is programmed inside the VFD bias. Okay, Mr. Shah. Yes, yeah. Definitely, definitely, we will definitely we will send you the project cost for your particular specific requirement to the email address you have given. Thanks for that. But once again, uh, let me emphasize that a return on investment as an investor you should be doing. Point number one, and the second thing is, we have we if we have to work on return on investment, we have to work under parameters which are speculative. We cannot, under any guaranteed assumption, work the return on investment. But we will definitely send you the project cost for your requirement for these hundred houses. You can have a look and you can kindly revert back to us for any of your clarifications. Thank you so much for attending this webinar. Thank you, Mr. Prashant. Okay, Justin has question, how much Mr. will the converter Mr. cost? Justin Taro, yes, now you have asked for the converter cost, Mr. Justin, may I know what capacity, are you looking for one HP capacity? Uh, Mr. Justin, are you looking for one HP capacity? No, yes. See, now Mr. Justin, as I told, the one HP pump can be run, but as long as your 900 watts of panel meets the technical requirements, may I know how many watts of panel do you have? What is the individual wattage of the panels? I need the technical specification of your uh, existing panels so that I can let you know whether it can be used or not. Uh, Ms. Rajini, Mr. Jasper, yeah, one second. requesting... Yeah, one second. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Mr. Justin, I want you to... Hello, Mr. Justin, are you there? Hello? Uh, let's wait. Maybe he's connecting, trying to connect. Yes, yes, Mr. Justin. Mr. Justin, are you facing any problem? Okay. Maybe you are uh, you are muted on your system. You can also check the volume setting.
Well, I think I'll answer that it's okay. You can uh, continue with your chat. Uh, Mr. Kavan, how much time does it take uh, for the installation? No, Ms. Rajani, it will depend on the scale and the nature of the project. Okay. Okay, Mr. Justin has a question. I need panel voltage, panel of UFC, panel of V and PP, and IC, ISC and, I, and uh, IMPP. Mr. Justin, I would exactly require how many numbers of panel that you have got and what are the individual panel voltages, the panel VOC, that is your open circuit voltage, the panel VMPP, ISE and IMPP. Wire them to get I understand a that, Mr. Jasin. You will wire them to get a total voltage and current. I'm just typing you what is the total voltage that is required. Mr. Justin, you can wire your existing panels in such a way that your open circuit voltage, that is VOC, should not exceed 750 volt and your VMPP should be between the range 570 and 600. So these voltages are DC voltages. Panel gives a DC voltage output, Mr. Justin. Mr. Justin, probably if you could uh, share your number. Uh, Ms. Rajini, I am not sure whether that is allowed or not. I just want to ask you if Mr. Justin Taro can share his number, contact number, so that we can have a discussion. Uh, you can share the email address. He can share the email address and uh, you can also share. Mr. Justin, you can share your email address and uh, Mr. Sarona will answer your question. Okay. Anyhow, you have given your website address, no? Then you can find. Yes. It. Mr. Justin, still you can share it. Uh, Mr. Justin, I have your email address. It's uh, justintaro@gmail.com. I got it. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Harish, do you have any questions for me? Okay. Okay, uh, Mr. Harish and Mr. Justin, if you have any further questions, uh, you can continue this discussion in the discussion forum. I am uh, providing you the link where you can post your questions and continue this discussion. And Mr. Sarvana will answer them. All right. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, Rajini, for giving me this opportunity for uh, attending this uh, webinar. And I thank the Agriculture Information uh, team as well.
It is yeah. really nice of you and I thank all the members who have participated today for this webinar. And yeah. we're looking forward to answering the questions on the forum. Yeah, you're most welcome. And uh, before I end this meeting, I would like to have a quick feedback on uh, today's talk. Mr. Arish and Mr. Dustin, uh, can you take just two minutes to fill up this form? It will take uh, just two minutes. Okay, Mr. Harish uh, is asking, please upload any collateral that you don't mind sharing on the So may I ask you, Mr. Harish, to explain specifically what you are meaning by collateral? So Mr. Harish, I understand that you want some uh, learning literature to be posted on the forum? Okay, he says he's an IT employee and interested in switching to farming. I, I, I understand uh, your planning, Mr. Harish, but I need to specifically understand as to in what way you expect our cooperation and our assistance in your uh, gradual shift. Mr. Arish, if you have a mic, I can unmute you. Okay, no problem. That, that's all right, that's all right. See, I understand, see, since it, you're saying that it, your uh, venture is going to be in a rural area, you would require a power backup and you want to rely on solar. That is really wonderful to hear from uh, you. But then I can see no, solar. Solar is a very, very broad umbrella under which we have so many domains. So as you stated, even in the initial uh, starting of this uh, webinar, you now we can offer a solution for a specific requirement. So I would request Mr. Harish to exactly let us know what is your requirement so that we can offer a suitable solution for you. Mr. Harish, otherwise you can also uh, send me an email to him. Yes, Mr. Harish, you can, you can leave a personal message or you can email me or you can post your inquiry on the discussion forum as well. Sure, Mr. Harish. You can definitely get in touch with us whenever you have a specific requirement. Yeah, most welcome, Mr. Harish. And uh, we expect Thank you, you to join. You're most welcome, Mr. Harish. And we also expect you to join the future webinar. Okay. Uh, I'll be ending this meeting now and uh, thank you all for attending today's webinar. This is an event organized by agriculturalinformation.com. Please visit our webinar section for updates on forthcoming events. I'll be closing this meeting Thank now. you, Mr. Ajini, and thank you, agriculturalinformation.com, for again giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Yeah, you're most welcome. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Have a nice evening. Have a nice evening.